Hi, I'm Troy. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your smartphone and smart devices to the Kivo lock. Calibration is a process that enables Kivo's inside-outside security functionality and helps prevent your door from being opened by an unauthorized user when your phone or other smart device is on the inside of the door. You can't calibrate a phone unless it has an e-key for the lock. So I'm going to touch the lock a couple of times to show you that this phone does indeed have an e-key and can communicate with this lock. Well, it looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and calibrate. The calibration process can time out, so let me tell you what's going to happen before we get started. When it's time to perform the calibration touch sequence, I'm going to put my phone in my front pocket. Why the front pocket, you ask? Well, believe it or not, through extensive research and development, we found that calibrating in this position allows for the most flexibility in Kivo operation. If you don't have a front pocket, then you can calibrate while holding the phone in your hand, purse, or backpack, but you may have to calibrate multiple times before being successful. Also be aware, you'll be limited to holding it in the same relative position during normal use. If you're using an iPad or other tablet instead of a phone, you may have difficulty putting it in your front pants pocket. If that's the case, hold it in your hand, throw it in your purse or backpack during calibration, and experiment with your position as you lock and unlock the door to determine what the detection limits are for you. Another thing to keep in mind, your device needs to have a direct line of sight to the lock. So, when it's in my pocket, I'll be lining it up with the lock. If you're calibrating in your backpack or purse, it's really best to have it in the outermost pocket that's closest to the lock. Also, we don't want to stand too close to the lock during calibration. It's best to stand at an extended arm's reach from the lock and give that signal some distance to travel. You'll be able to tell when the lock is in calibration mode because the light ring will be solid green. We're going to be touching the deadbolt rose a total of three times, but not too fast. We touch it once when it's solid green, and that'll make it spin. You don't want to touch it while it's spinning, wait for it to turn solid green. Keep going, then after the final touch, it'll flash green if calibration is successful, or red if it's unsuccessful. Because every calibration environment is unique, it may take a few tries before you get a green flash for a successful calibration. But luckily, the process is pretty quick and simple. So if you see a red flash, just try calibrating again. Alright, let's calibrate. If you just set up your owner phone, you'll be automatically prompted by the app to calibrate. If you're calibrating sometime after setup, or if you're working with a device other than the owner phone, navigate to your My Locks and E-Keys page, tap the settings icon on the bottom right, and then tap Calibrate. Read the information on the screen and tap Get Started. Slide the battery cover off the lock interior. Press the Calibrate button, then hold the phone close against the back panel. Replace the battery cover and walk outside with the phone and close the door. I like to bring my standard key with me, just in case. There's that solid green we talked about. Now I'm going to put the phone in my front pocket, make sure nothing else is in that pocket, and establish that direct line of sight to the lock, and stand at an extended arm's reach. Okay, I'm touching when the light ring is solid green. There's a spin, touch it again, one more time. Now that green flash means calibration success, and the inside-outside sensor has been enabled for my phone. If you get a red flash, don't fret. Some common reasons for an unsuccessful calibration are standing too close or too far from the lock and not putting the battery cover back on before going outside. Or maybe your entryway doesn't allow you to establish a direct line of sight between your pocket or the lock. If that's the case, you might need to experiment and put the phone somewhere else during calibration, like your hand, backpack, or purse. If you experiment and still find you can't calibrate your lock, you could have some damage to the antenna cable introduced during installation. You can check this out by slightly removing the interior battery pack from the door and taking a peek at the cable. Make sure the connector is tucked properly and ensure it stays there when you reinstall the interior. For more help with the cable, you can check out our installation video online. Okay, let's assume you are successful in calibrating, so let's test the phone now that the inside-outside sensor has been enabled. Keep in mind, inside-outside sensor is only enabled during a successful calibration. I'll touch the lock from the outside to make sure it's still communicating. Cool, everything's working fine. Now, since we're calibrated, when I go inside with my phone, it's active. An unauthorized user can actually touch the lock from the outside and the inside-outside sensor can determine that I'm in the home, so it won't unlock the door. 
This is the reason for Kibo calibration. Hope this video helped. If you still have questions, feel free to contact Kibo Support and also check out our website and other videos online. We may have already answered your question. Thanks for watching.